Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you important concepts and differences between the universal and Gracie curate instruments. So first, um, these instruments have a handle, a terminal shank, and a working end with a rounded toe. These are subgingival instruments, and it is used um, with a modified pan grasp using moderate to firm pressure against the tooth. So, um, however, it is not used on newly erupted teeth, demineralized areas like decay, and patients with an active infection. So for the universal curette, the face of the blade is always a um, 90 degree angle to the terminal shank. Both sides of the blade are activated, and it can be used on all surfaces of posterior and anterior teeth. For Gracie instruments, the face of the blade is 70 degrees to the terminal shank. And remember that only one side of the blade is activated. If you look closer, it's always the lowest side of the blade that is um, against the tooth. So this is the um, 1314 Gracie, and it's only used for distal surfaces. The 1112 Gracie is for buccal and mesial surfaces. And the anterior, uh, this is the one two only for anterior um, teeth. All right, so whether we're using universal or Gracie instruments, we, all, we, always, ha we always have three additional steps before activation. So we would need to close, insert, and open away so that just the toe third is kept in the sulcus at all times. So let me just show you using a universal curette. All right, so first we close the face of the blade towards the enamel, zero to 40 degrees. To do that, I would have to relax my fulcrum. Um, so I close and then insert just the tip of the toe third in the sulcus. And then I open away 60 to 80 degrees from the gingiva. Such that um, the terminal shank is still tipped a little bit towards the tooth. On the other hand, the Gracie instrument is the same concept. We close insert open away but at this time you would open it to 70 um, degrees such that the um, terminal shank is parallel to the long axis of the tooth all right so let me just show you how this works um so the working order is always from the most distal tooth going forward but for the purposes of this video i'm just gonna instrument on the first molar so first we would um identify a correct working end by placing this in the proximal. This is correct since it's standing parallel to the long axis of the tooth. If I use um, this side, it is hugging the tooth and it's incorrect. All right, so starting at the distal line angle, I would close, insert, open away slightly, and I rock using overlapping strokes and until I'm fully in a proximal. I pull away the instrument and then I point it mesially, starting at the distal line angle. I close, insert, open away, and do the mesial surfaces. And I roll at the line angle until I'm fully in a proximal. And I'm done with this tooth, and then you repeat the steps for the remaining posterior teeth. Remember that if you're working on lingual surfaces, you would always um, flip the instrument over, all right, so that um, the V is still pointing distally. So again, I will close, sort of open away. Okay, pointing mesially. Okay, I'm done. For maxillary teeth, we would always fulcrum on the same tooth, um, specifically on the furthest cusp, such as the such as the palm is um, facing towards you. All right. So again, I would um, so it's gonna look like this. So if you close, insert, open away, you can activate the instrument. You're fully in proximal. Point immediately, close insert, open away. Okay. 
until you're fully in a proximal. Okay. All right. So for um, anterior teeth, um, we would always confirm a correct working end by placing the bump against the tooth. So we know that since I'm in, uh, working on the towards surfaces and the bumps in the tooth, I'm using the correct working end. So I would start at the canine to canine. Just the um, toe third is inserted in the midline. I would close, insert, open away, and then I would rock. And I, I, and I roll almost right away so that I don't lacerate any tissue. I continue with the next teeth, close, insert, open away. So I'm fully in a proximal. Remember again that when we do the linguals, we always flip um, the instrument so that the bump is still facing the tooth. Okay. So for Gracie instruments, I'll show you the mandibular left side. Okay. All right, so um, I'm using the 1314 instrument since we always start at the distal line angle. Again, we confirm our correct working end. This is wrong. Okay, that's correct. Okay, so again, at the distal line angle, I would close, insert open away, such that it's parallel to the long axis of the tooth at all times, and then we rock until fully interproximal. And I'm done with this instrument. I do not go back mesially. So in the next tooth, I close, insert, open away. Okay. And then repeat the same steps as you go um, to the premolars. Then I change the instrument to the 1112 for mesial surfaces. Um, it is the same. We confirm by pointing the V um, distally or mesially. So again, we close, insert, open away. And then we work on the mesial surfaces. So fully interproximal. It's the same for distal surfaces. And of course, at the other sextants of the mouth. Let me just show you the um, anterior racy, the one two. Let me try it on the mandibular teeth. Okay. So, to confirm the correct working end, um, you should stand the um, instrument facing you. And just to confirm, it is always the lower side of the blade, which is against the tooth. So, since this is the lower side of the tooth, and I'm on um, towards surfaces, this is the correct working end. All right, so again, I would close in the uh, midline, insert, open away, and then I rock until I'm fully interproximal. Okay. And then if you work on the lingual surfaces, again, you flip the instrument over, making sure that the lower side of the blade is touching the tooth or against the tooth. Flow ins insert, open away. And then repeat those steps for the remaining anterior teeth and away surfaces. So that's it.